Hi guys, today I have my Disney Princess project update for you. Um, it's a little hard to say. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not wearing my glasses um, because I've been wearing my glasses in the past couple of videos, I feel. And I want to change it up a little bit. I was actually wearing my glasses throughout the day. <laughs> so you can see those little like nose marks, but I took them off just for the sake of the video because I don't want you guys getting sick of watching me with glasses on and I also don't have contact scenes so I'm like like really blurry and I don't know <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind it, it's a little weird anyways I have an update for you guys and I actually did I think okay or pretty good in the past two weeks I'm happy with my progress so let me show you first I was able to finish two lip glosses like a couple updates ago. Um, they're both for the Princess Rapunzel and her color was purple and lavender. So those two were gone. I'm really happy about that. And one is the Buxom lip gloss in the color Jennifer. Really like this one. And the other one is from Alme. It's the liquid lip balm in the color Lilac Love. And eh, not a big fan of this formula. But those two are gone. And since last update to now, I was able to finish one more product. This one, it should be no surprise because it was really hanging on just by the like last thread. Um, this one is the blush from my Bon Jovi palette and it was for Belle. Um, and her color was yellow, so I picked this palette for the packaging. And the blush is all gone. You can see it's all cleared up. I really didn't have much left last time. I had to repress it and yeah, it, it, it was just finished. I finished it yesterday, actually. So I'm really happy about that. It's just finally one product out of this palette. And since I'm showing you this palette now, um, I might as well just show you this highlight. This one is for Princess um, Jasmine. Her color is gold. This is a golden highlighter. And you can see that I really just have a little bit left on the edge right now. I believe I can finish it by the next update. I don't use it on my face every day and I use it on my eyelids every day though. Um, but I really like the look. I'm not too worried about it. It's really crumbly and powdery at this point. So if I really use it, it's going to be gone in no time. And right now, let me show you some pictures of those two products since the very beginning, intro, and the next few updates and all the way until where it is now. The next product is for Cinderella. Her color is light blue, and so I picked the sample size Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and it, it's been going down so slow. Uh, that's my intro, and this is where I am now. You can see every time I was just able to move it down by the slightest bit. Um, but it's going down. I mean, it, it, those kind of products, they're gonna take forever. I don't think I can finish this before the project ends, but um, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna be using it every day regardless. So that's where I am with it. The very last product This one is a colored eyeliner. This one is from Butter Linden. The color is called Inky 6 It's a darker blue kind of um, royal blue color. This one is from Milan and her color is green and blue I believe so this one this is where I am I don't have too much left uh, when I started it was pretty much a new pencil I feel so I'm really happy about the progress so you can see that's where I am now that's the intro I've used a lot of it um, it's pretty good formula I mean I like it it sets pretty quickly and it's creamy the only thing is that it's blue I don't feel like using a blue eyeliner every day but what I've been doing is just that I would use a like a dark brown or like a black eyeshadow to just set my eyeliners. That way, you know, you don't really see the blue color. I can use the eyeliner, but still get like a black eyeliner look. So I've been using it that way. I've been using it every day. So uh, that's why I used it a little bit more this time around than the past few times. So I'm pretty happy about that progress. I think I can finish it on time, but it probably wouldn't go away too quick. Um, but I'm not worried about it. I think I can finish it for sure. So that's it. I'm pretty happy about my progress, even though I haven't been using my makeup very consistently in the past few weeks, I feel. Well, mainly because it's been so hot and it's humid and I feel whatever I put on my face, they're just gonna melt down like as soon as I step out of the door, so why bother? 
Um, I've been going bare face a lot. So I'm surprised I was able to make so much progress actually. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and I probably wouldn't like jump in any new projects for a little while just because I know I'm not using like a lot of products at this stage, maybe maybe not in August either. Like September, maybe I can start some new projects, but I'm perfectly happy with the amount of projects I have going right now and I can work on the things that I need to work on and I really couldn't do more, I don't think. Um, well, I say this just because a few of you guys asked me last time, so I figure I can tell you like in this update. Anyways, um, I'm gonna let you go. I know it's probably weird because I'm like staring at blurry things right now. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind that and let me know if you like me using glasses or not. I, I don't know because I know sometimes they will give um, glares and that might annoy people but um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it don't forget to click like and subscribe so you can see more updates from me and thank you guys for watching. Bye!